Hey guys, welcome back to Satisfactory uh, Schematics and Blueprints, episode three. Um, and we are going to be looking at iron rod blueprints today. And there are really only two iron rod blueprints that I want to show you. Uh, the first one is sitting in front of you now. And this one, and in fact, both of these are set up so that they are as simple as possible to chain together. And we're going to uh, introduce a new concept today, and that is having splitters on the front of our blueprints and having mergers on the back of our blueprints. Okay, so now we've got um, everything is all set up now. And if you, if you take a look here, uh, this side with the three hashes on it, that's always the input to your splitter. And then the output, there are three outputs. We're only really going to use two. There's the one output that's connected up to this node. And then there's the second output, which will go off to the side here. And that's going to connect to the in of the next node. So we're getting uh, 30 iron ingots per minute, or sorry, iron ore per minute coming into this and 30 iron ingots per minute coming out. And from here, we go directly into a splitter, which splits that up into 15 and 15, because we only need 15 iron ingots to make 15 iron rods here. And then both of those are going to come out and go directly into a merger. And again, you can see on the merger, the three hashes mean in. So here, here, and here, you can bring it in. But we're only really going to use two. We're going to use the one that's coming out of the constructor, and then our node on the opposite side here is going to come into here. And then all of that is going to go out and go into this node into here, get married up with the 15 that are coming out from here. And then we'll send that out uh, the other side and on down into the next node. So if we come back over to our, uh, our test area over here, what we can do is pull up the 30 iron rod, actually we'll, we'll start with the V2, uh, actually the V2 is over here. So we'll start with the V2, that's what we just looked at uh, up above here. So we just put one there, and then the next one goes over here, and then the next one comes over here, and again, uh, as these get bigger, you want to be more and more careful with how you place them. So now all we got to do is take our power and hook it up to the power pole. Uh, oh, hmm. here's a flaw. With three coming out here, what we're going to have to do, we're actually going to have to put... So we're either going to have to change this to a Mark II power pole, um, which is probably easiest, uh, but you'll notice right now I don't have the quick wire. And at this stage in the game, you probably won't have the quick wire also. So what we can do instead of that is we just put two Mark I power poles. We'll put one here, and I'll fix the blueprint uh, for this later. So we'll put one at the front here on each one of these. And then that will connect up to our... Uh, three split here. So when we put them down, this is the configuration they'll come in, and then you bring the power from here to here and you just daisy chain those down. Now, when we bring our ore in, um, the way we set this up is we're bringing it in from this side. So we can bring the ore into here And then we bring it out and into here and out and into here, which means now we'll start with our rods here. And all we have to do is connect these up and then pull that out into our, oops, let's do that again. Put that into our, uh, whatever we need it for, whether it's a, um, whether it's a container or whether it's into another uh, node for, you know, 
whatever needs the iron rods, perhaps screws, uh, which will be coming in uh, a future video, not too long. Uh, there we go. We've now set up a factory quickly and easily. Now, if we take a look, there is another way to do this, and that's the vertical. So we just did the, uh, the horizontal, but we can also do the vertical. So if we look at uh, 90, oh, we can do 90 iron rod. Look at that. Um, that's actually, that required, oh, yeah, we've got Mark uh, two uh, power poles in here, which is the 18 quick wire that you're seeing missing there. Uh, so let's not do that. Let's go with... 30 iron rod so for 30 iron rod oh we're missing quick wire again uh, because we put a mark yeah we put the we put the mark two power pole in there because we had the exact same uh, problem but you'll notice in this one now we've got the uh, the ore coming into the smelter on the one side and just like uh, with the iron uh, plates, instead of going out sideways, we actually went vertical, but that requires uh, your elevators. So you can see that there. The elevator is, so it, it's gonna come out of the uh, smelter into the splitter. The splitter is going to put one line out into the bottom uh, constructor. This, the second line goes into the uh, to the elevator which is going to take it up to the second floor and that's going to put it into a constructor and then the two of those are going to merge back up down below and at that point now we can actually make our uh, factory more compact it's just taller so again it's up to you which way you choose to do it both of them are uh, viable options in order to avoid needing that quick wire, all you do is put a, uh, a second Mark I power pole out at the front, and the whole thing just works. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, this video series, please uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't, and if you know anybody who uh, is looking to figure out different ways to do things in Satisfactory, point them to the channel for me because uh, I like to help as many people as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time.